Hi, welcome to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. And on this channel, I share videos that help you to take control of your life. And one of those elements is taking control of your home through decluttering, tidying, cleaning. And so I am here today with part two of my kitchen declutter. So you can watch part one where I did basically most of the kitchen, but I ran out of steam, ran out of time. And so today I'm going to be tackling my under stairs, under stairs, what am I talking about? Under sink cupboard that is basically jammed full of cleaning products that in previous declutters, I thought, oh, I'm sure I'll be able to use that. I'm sure I really just don't use them. So I'm gonna be really ruthless today. I'm also, possibly tomorrow but still within this video I'm going to do my under stairs cupboard which is also I don't know if you can just see if I turn the light on where my washing machine is we didn't have space for a washing machine and a dishwasher and I really wanted a dishwasher so we plumbed in the washing machine into this cupboard here but it just look at it just it just gets like that so i'm gonna declutter in there there's definitely bits in there that need to be cleared away so i'm gonna get started and then at the very end i will do a kitchen tour just to show you how it's looking compared to how it looks in the beginning so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take everything out and then i'm just gonna lay it all over the floor um so that i can properly see what i've got in there because i just I don't even clean that much. I'm like the worst cleaner ever. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull it all out. Because when I, I look at all these products and I just think, okay, they're all useful. They really are all useful. So what I need to do is accept that I'm not the best cleaner in the world and recognize which ones I will never use because of my lack of skills. So um, Magic sponge is really handy to have, so that's a key. This is um, a, a, an eco screen cleaner thing for cleaning like iPads and stuff, and we do use that, so that is also a key. Extra large flash wipes. Handy to have for the floor sometimes if I can't be doing with mopping. Quick, quick wipe down but I don't use them often enough to warrant taking space so I'm going to donate them to someone on the local free cycle page good dishwasher salt need that bin bags need that soda crystals this has been opened I do I put these in the washing machine maybe I'll keep them in the washing machine cupboard because I use them to clean out the washing machine cupboard. This, I love this. This is disinfectant spray. And I do love it, but I never, never use it. Hmm. But maybe I should use it. COVID. I'm going to add that to the main pile. This is stain remover for dogs and he has a tendency to wee every now and again, so. This feather duster, got that from Wilco's. Love it. And dishwasher tablets, washing up liquid, window and glass cleaner. I don't know what are in these, so I need to investigate those. Stain removing spray, just don't use it, gonna donate that to someone. Pink stuff, use that rug refresher. Use that Silic Bang, that's for the bathroom, so that can go upstairs. Um, stainless steel thing, I bought that for the hob, never use it. Donate that to someone. 
laundry spot stain remover. Washing machine, I guess. Washing machine cupboard. Uh, beeswax furniture polish. I do need to use that more often. A whole ton of, oh, I don't know, yeah. So flora, cranberry and orange. I like that one. Leather, I do use that for our dining room chairs. Excess sponges, they could go in the shed for cleaning the car. Um, cider vinegar, why do I use this? For my hair. <laughs> so this should be upstairs with the beauty stuff for my curly girl apple cider vinegar rinse. Another Zoflora festive one. That's a stain remover, that's for washing machine covered. White vinegar, I do use that. Um, so that has to stay. Carpet care. Um, and upholstery. I do use that, but rarely, so at the back. Polish, I do use that, and there's my duster. This is a nice air freshener. Spiced apple as well. Uh, maybe in the maybe pile. More bin bags. Um, Star Drops Pine Disinfectant. You could see I was influenced by Mrs. Hinch before I realised I just don't want a home that tight and clean. I want a life. Um, so I did use some. Maybe I'll use it today and clean all my sinks and use it up. Leather wipes. Um, again, I use that for our dining room furniture. Some more. I don't like that so floor actually, so I'm going to donate that to someone. This can go in the washing machine cupboard with the other duster things, which is too big for in here. Mr. Muscle Drain Foamer. Well, that's like an emergency thing for when it gets blocked. Mold and Mildew. Oh, this was the great one. This is the one that I used for all my um, grout. This one. I used it on my grout and it was uh, brilliant. So yes, but that's uh, every now and again. And then I've got some nearly empty bleachers, so I might use them on the bathroom in a minute. Oven pride, so that is my husband's domain. That's furniture doings. Um, some swing bin liners that I don't actually own a swing bin, so I'm gonna donate them. These are some extra bin bags. This came with the dishwasher, but we never use it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I'm gonna get rid of that. And this needs a wash. Um, I've got loads of different air fresheners and things, so I don't trust this one. So I'm gonna bin that, and then I'm going to see if anyone wants the things that would have gone with it. But I do use these ones. That is that. That's less. Less. Let's just see, I've got food bin bags. Beeswax again. That's for my orchids and plants. Sparkling spruce again. Lemon zing. I love that. I'm going to put that on the sink. And then we've got some room spray. A sniff of those. Baby oil, that's where the baby oil went. Um, oh. Water storage gel and slow release fertilizer. Put them in my plants. I'm gonna look into how to use those. That's the lid for that. And that's for the iron, but we don't own anymore. Bonus. Okay, so I've given this a wipe through and I'm gonna fill it with things that I know, sorry, that's the dishwasher, that I will use and then I can just take this out and just use that. So I use this every, not every day, but a lot. 
uh, cleaning my mirrors, um, wiping down chairs, um, I'll put in the cranberries of flora, the polish, I'll put those in there, this is for the screens, TV and stuff. Um, the sponges can live in there. Other than that, everything else is, oh, the carpet refresher can go in there. And maybe I'll choose this one. Everything else is sort of need it as and when. So I'm going to put the plant food in there because I get that out and use that. The bin bags can go in there. Food bags can go in there. That can go in there. So then all I have to do is take that out. So then things like this can go at the back because I won't need them so often. Um, ooh, that's fairly often usage. Um, these are spares. I need a little, a little pot really. I don't have any. Um, and they're occasional use. And that hopefully is very occasional use. So then, yeah, freshener things. So just go there, I guess. I need to get myself a little tub. Is what I need to put these random in. So then that's just there to be able to take it out whenever. These tablets can live there and the salt can go there. Oh, and the oven fried. The oven fried can go at the back. Are you licking me? Please don't lick me. Okay. That's so much better. So much better. Yes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these were maybes, but if I put them in my thing, then I will use them because I can just take them out every day. Fab. So then I've just got these things. So that these are going to go upstairs to the bathroom. The salt, soda crystals. Oh, I need to smell them, see if I like them. Soda crystals and the laundry things are going to go in the washing machine cupboard. Oh, that needs to go under there. And that's gonna go upstairs. So I'm gonna smell these. Um, so this is this is number three. Like if you are an Aldi candle aficionado, then you will know that number three is like the nicest smelling candle. I'm just gonna smell of room spray now. Oh, stupid, isn't it really? That's quite nice. I like that. So number three can stay. That can go in the thing. And then number ten. This is red roses. Mm. I can't even smell it. I've gone nose blind. Let's do this side. Oh, that is really rosy. I don't think I like that one. <coughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to let someone else have that. It's almost time to go and get William. So I'm going to go and get him. And then I will either do the washing machine cupboard when I come back. Or I will do it tomorrow. It's really difficult to get a good angle on this. Um, so I will just get everything out. And then I will show you uh, what's in here. Give it a hoover, give it a mop, or maybe I'll use my flash wipes because I can't be bothered to get the mop out. That's what I'm going to do. This is our iron, which is a great iron. It's a Pulte Vaporel or something, Steam Plus. It's a good iron, I can recommend it. Not that I ever do any ironing.
You know when you find random stuff around your house and you keep it because you're like, it must belong to something. It must do. There's no way that it suddenly just has appeared out of nowhere. Well, I found something that looked very similar to this, right? Very, if not identical, but it wasn't as long. I didn't have that. So it was like that bit, right? And I was like, where, what is this? What is this? I kept it for ages, like literally in a thing. That it lets, it'll come to me. It'll come to me what it is. That's where it went. It was a hook for this. Screw it in there. What did I do when I tidied out in there? Threw it away. Oh, the bin men have been today, so I can't even crazily ferret for it. Oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted. Yeah. See, now I can't hang out. I have hung it on here, like this one. And now I can't. Curses, Fred, curses. <laughs> I can't believe it. <sighs> right, what I'm gonna do? Improvise. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's really annoying. Right. Well, that bag can also house the window cleaner scraper thing. And it can house the extra Hoover attachments. Yes, it can, Fred. It's fine. It all works out for the better. All the extra Hoover attachments that just get in the way on the floor are all in that bag now. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. And I can still open my drawer. That's fine. It's fine, Fred. It's fine. You're not fine, though. You're bothering me. Um. So now, if this isn't in here, I've actually got floor space to get in. So I've got the washing powder. These, which I'm going to get a shelf put up here, and then they can go here. And then all the bits and bobs are in that tub, the, the random cleaning things. The iron is there, washing machine, the random thing that does not have a hook now, the Hoover attachments and the other duster that's like a radiator duster behind there, all our electricity bits. The Hoover's there. We've also got a, a Dyson Hoover that goes up there that's charging. The iron, my carrier bag, man. The only thing is this. Um, but these are our different aprons for different things. Aprons for cooking, aprons for crafting. And then this is a bag that, oh, let me show you. It's got all our extension leads in there. So that's fine. It doesn't need anything dealing with. But that is done. And then here is just so we've got these things are scraps of, like to go under rugs, but they're never gonna get used because there's such a small thing. This is gonna get used, that's a carrier bag. So I'm gonna give that away to someone. I'm gonna give that away to someone who wants it. This is a pump to blow up things, but that goes with our camping stuff. This is a bag of random plates and party stuff that I will donate. And then there was those poles. One is a neck curtain pole. We don't have neck curtains anymore, so I'll get rid of that to somebody who wants it. And this is a painting thing, you know, uh, for like reaching up high in high crevices and stuff. So that'll go in our porch cupboard. So let me just show you around the finished kitchen. So obviously this is like an extension of our kitchen. It's my mini understairs utility. Uh, and then I'll show you the kitchen now. Okay, so sun's making it a bit difficult. Excuse my rhubarb that the children uh, picked in the allotment at Brownies. But um, here we've got much more streamlined cupboards. My Tupperware now lives here, much less. And I probably can declutter that a little bit more once I get to grips with it being there. And then this is now the children's cupboard. So plates and cups for them and they can access the bread and the squash and the cereal. And then there's some more cereal, some crisps, some, some snacks and biscuits. I've got excess crisps here. I bought too many um, without realizing we already had some. So <laughs> they don't normally have that many crisps to choose from. And then 
the sink, you know, just all my plants on there. Got my reusable uh, beeswax wraps, which I love because I just felt like I was using too much uh, plastic. My new very neat and tidy cupboard. I cannot tell you how pleased I am with that. My baking cupboard is really full, but we do do a lot of baking and I, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, oh, I think I missed this one. Um, that has just got um, scales, slow cooker, air fryer and a whisk in that one. So not too bad in there. The rest of the baking things, like the ingredient side of things in there. Glasses and mugs in there. Dishwasher is down below. Hob, the drawers. My food cupboard, much more organised and neat and tidy. And yeah, just I love this drawer now. Not too much in there. Not too much in there. And not too much in there. This room didn't really take me that long, but because it is a room that is used every single day, multiple times a day, it really has made a difference getting rid of the unnecessary stuff and the excess stuff. So if you're not sure what room to start in, do your kitchen because it, I don't love this kitchen. You you can see how tiny it is. It's, it, you can't swing a cat in here. You know, you really can't. Um, but I'm enjoying being in, in here much more now that the cupboards and the drawers don't all fall out at me. So um, I hope you have enjoyed watching me do this. It's been a bit more of a chatty one, this one, than speeding through because I needed to explain my choices, I think. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will be back next week. Huh. I don't know what room. Maybe put in the chat below what room you would like to see. I've done the living room diner, done the kitchen. What room would you like me to do next? Let me know down below.